About 795,000 people suffer strokes a year. That includes recurrent attacks. Do you know your risks? What about the warning signs? You may think this could never happen to you, but that's just not true. In fact, local attorney, uh, an assistant state attorney, in fact, a prosecutor, Rich Manti, is an example of that. He is joining us this morning with neurovascular surgeon Eric Sovago. Thank you very much, both of you, for being here. I really appreciate Honor. it. Um, you know, um, Rich, if we can start with you specifically, because, I mean, you're a healthy guy. You know, you work out five days a week, and this happened to you while you were at the gym. It did. Walk us did. through. I, I know that you don't have any memory of the actual episode itself, but when you woke up and they said, hey, you had a stroke, what was your reaction? Uh, I've been back since then, and everybody just kind of looks at me, and their reaction is the same as mine. What, what do you, you know, how did you make it through this? Um, you know, people hear the word massive ischemic stroke, and they think you should be a vegetable. Fortunately, thanks to people like this guy, I'm not. Uh, but you're right, you know, the gym, and ironically, the gym is also owned by one of his fellow doctors down there at Baptist. So I, it, if it was going to happen, it happened at the right place at the right time for me. Now, you had some hereditary background. I had do. you been seeing a doctor regularly because you knew you were at an increased risk, or did you not feel like you needed to? I didn't have any real background for strokes necessarily. I do have a family history of some, some blood vessel issues, and that appears to be the genesis of all of this. I had... Uh, previously one episode of a, a blood clot in my right leg. Um, but I wasn't regularly seeing anybody for that particular condition. It was treated, it was taken care of, it was done, or so I thought. Um, maybe not quite so much, but now I think we got it under control. <laughs> I think so, because of this guy, right? Yes, and, yes ma'am. And, and your cardiologist, I'm sure, as well. Uh, doctor, let's talk a little bit about, there was a procedure then that you specifically used, because time is of the essence. You know, within that kind of six-hour, couple-of-hour window can be a difference between someone like Rich Manti, who's standing here perfectly healthy and has all of his, you know, use of all of his, uh, all of his arms, and there's no drooping and whatnot, you know, any paralysis, and not. Absolutely. I mean, time is the essence. Time is brain, like we like to say. Uh, and it's really important that people are aware of this. Uh, he's a perfect example of that. You know, people could have said he could not have a stroke. He's too young for this and just kind of brush it off and see, you know, uh, but people react right away. Uh, you know, call EMS right away. He was brought to the hospital right away. And then the sequence of event uh, took place to make sure that he doesn't, uh, he didn't have any deficit, a permanent deficit from this. So you used a procedure then that involved going through an artery and basically pulling this clot out near yeah. his brain. So there's two approved treatment for stroke. The first one is clot buster, IVTPA. So uh, he got this treatment and then it was immediately transferred downtown uh, where we went with this, uh, as you could see here, a little tiny catheter. So a little microplastic tube that we could navigate all the way from the groin to the uh, arteries in the brain. And, and then we kind of deployed this kind of micro fishing net uh, and then the, the clot itself will incorporate within this device, uh, and then we could retrieve this. So, it's amazing uh, when you look at this in terms of the technology and how far we have come. Very quickly, Doc, um, what kinds of symptoms, warning signs are there that someone should pay close attention to and not ignore? So a, a quick uh, way to remind those sing and sign and symptoms is the acronym BEFAST. So B, uh, if somebody has any balance problem, that could be a sign. Uh, e for eye, if there's a problem with eyesight, somebody lose the vision, C double, could be another sign. And fast F for face, if there's a droopy face. Uh, a for the arm or the leg, if there's weakness, obviously, of a, of a limb. And usually that's going to be on one side more than the other. S, if there's problem with speech, problem with speaking or understanding. And T, to remind people that time is the essence. So be fast. And you're doing well. So far, so good. Uh, I am completely back to every routine I was into before. Uh, I was back at work within a matter of a couple days. And uh, really, once I got through the, the physical rehab part of it, now it's just a function of maintaining. Yeah, rumor has it that uh, you would, wouldn't take very much time off. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. I'm you glad know how those rumors well. are. I know, I know. All right. All right. So you can stay up to date with the latest health stories, including this procedure that is offered at Baptist. Go to our website, newsforjax.com, where we'll post this interview later this morning. Just look under the health headlines.